At a symposium in Rome on the topic of the family, several experts from Germany spoke about the role of the family in today's society. On the sidelines of the event, Martin Rottweiler, director of EWTN Germany, spoke with German philosopher of religion Hannah Barbara Gerl Fakowitz. In 2022, there will be another world meeting of families, an initiative that came from John Paul II, who cared a lot about the topics of marriage and family. From the perspective of a philosopher of religion, what is the significance of marriage and family? I could say right from the start that it was a particularly brilliant idea of Pope John Paul II to deal with the family in this way. Of course, one expects that from the Pope. But the fact that he put such a clear emphasis on it is quite great. He understood quite a lot. John Paul II started from phenomenology. He looked at the phenomenon of the human being, the phenomenon of human love, also of corporeality. This concept of the theology of the body is important. What can be determined phenomenally or in the phenomenon of the body of man, the body of man, the body of woman. I underline once again that a pope who reflects on the subject of the body is also in a certain sense a novelty. Phenomenology has the unbelievable advantage, and John Paul really worked with it, that by looking, by looking wisely, that is, not simply looking in the sense of taking in at random, but by looking wisely and interpreting what one sees, one can already find a good way into the depth of an understanding of the world. And at the end of the day, we can already ask, what does fatherhood mean for men, purely phenomenally? And what does motherhood mean for women, purely phenomenally? The moment when a culture does not ask these questions at all, feminism has given away the question about the motherhood of the woman, it is not asked, we consider the phenomenon of the woman actually already in a certain reduction. Sooner or later, this takes revenge, because the moment we do not perceive something in its comprehensive entirety, the forgotten or suppressed part comes back with force at some point, and then, of course, as a punitive task and no longer as just a task. I think that if we really learn to read phenomena again, we will take on a very grateful task with it, namely to really take seriously what expresses itself in our body. We have in anthropology, if you take that as a big term, of course we have a share of biology, why not? Where do we start if we don't start with biology? Of course, man is not only a biological being, of course not. Already an animal is not. An animal has a biological imprint. But an animal has learning processes, has adaptations. A dog can grow up with a human, takes on strange traits that it would not have in the wild. How can a restoration of marriage and family succeed? The message is again from the church. You alone, you forever, and from you a child. Just say that. You don't have to justify it. This statement will be understood immediately, even if it generates opposition. But as long as I don't say that, as long as the alternatives are always there, it doesn't work. But if you say that to young people, they will understand that this is good. Even if they don't comply right away, it doesn't matter, but they understand it's a good thing. Thanks again, Professor Gölfakowicz.